good morning class 4 welcome to the offline class today in the offline class we will do revision of pt2 okay so on the board i am writing some mcq questions you kindly revise this mcqs okay or you give the answers and then you check the answers of your own okay i am writing the questions you just see the first question suppose i am writing uh there are 32 children half of them are girls how many children are boys how many children are boys you have to find the total number of children who are boys but half of them it is girls so it is very easy isn't it the options are given 8 30 16 20 20 so half of 32 as you know it is 16 isn't it so 16 are girls and obviously the half the next half is for the boys so that means 16 are girls and 16 are boys so answer will be option number c so give a tick mark in option number c now you write one more this is also from your math magic book 3.5 meter is equals to dash centimeter you have to find out that 3 by 4 of a meter is equals to dash centimeter as you know 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter so you have to find out 3 by 4 of that meter answer is given 50 centimeter or 25 centimeter or is it 70 cm or is it 75 cm so you have to find it out isn't it first of all 1 uh, meter is equals to 100 cm so 3 by 4 meter is equals to you will find for 3 by 4 of the 3 by 4 meter of the cm uh, and you will find the answer is number d 75 number d 75 isn't it now you write one more number 3 suppose if the cost of 1 kg onion is rupees 10 then what will be the cost what will be the cost of half kg onion what will be the cost of half kg so you have to divide it it is very easy isn't it rupees 5 rupees 15 or is rupees 10 or none of these answer will be half of 10 that is rupees 5 similarly if uh, cost of different uh, vegetables are given and you have to find the cost of uh, Uh, half kg or 3 by 4 kg or uh, 1 by 6 kg or 1 by 4 kg so you will do it like that okay that means the uh, first of all you see what is the cost of half 1 kg given then you either divide it by 2 or divide it by 4 if it is 1 by 4 so you will divide by 4 if it is 1 by 2 that means half kg you have to find out then you will divide by 2 okay so like this you will find the cost of different uh, vegetables clear now if suppose it is given uh, 
now come to question number 4 number 4 3 quarters is equals to dash now you have to find out what is the meaning of 3 quarter what is the meaning of 3 quarter the options are given 1 by 2 1 by 4 2 by 3 or is it 3 by 4 3 quarters that means quarter is 1 by 4 and since it is given 3 quarters that means 3 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 is the answer now we will do some questions from composite maths ok yes uh, in the previous class we have done suppose it is given the teacher wrote the word telephone on the blackboard what fraction what fraction of the letters are vowels you have to find that in the word telephone how many letters are vowel and then you have to write the fraction for that options are given 3 by 10 4 by 10 4 by 9 or is it 3 by 9 first of all total number of uh, words 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and out of 9, 1, 2, 3 and 4 that is 4 by 9, 4 are vowel so you will write the answer 4 by 9 ok, now write number 6 number 6 suppose it is given 7 by 7 is a dash options are proper fraction unit fraction improper fraction or number D both B and C so 7 by 7 what is that it is a improper fraction proper fraction unit fraction or both B and C see as we have read for improper fraction the definition is the numerator it is greater than the denominator or equal to to the denominator here it is equal to to the denominator that means it is a improper fraction so you will give a tick mark in improper fraction clear now let us do some more number 7 number 7 you write PQ represents a dash options are ray then line Is it a line segment 
or number D point. You have to find out that PQ, what is that? Is it a ray, line or line segment? The answer is line segment because it has two end points. If it is a ray, one side will be the end point and one side will be the arrow. And if it is line, both the sides, it will be arrow. And for the point, it is just a dot. So our answer is option number C, a line segment. Okay, uh, one more you write. A dash is a line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. A dash is a line segment whose endpoints lie on a circle. The options are given A radius, B chord, number C is arc and number D it is diagonal. So what it is? It is number B chord because for the chord uh, both the line segments or both the points lie on the circle okay it is a chord number nine eight centimeter and three millimeter equals dash number A 8.3 millimeter number B 8.3 centimeter number C 8.03 centimeter and number D is it none of these options are 8.3 millimeter, 8.3 centimeter, 8.03 centimeter and none of these. So 8 centimeter and 3 millimeter it will be equal to 8.3 centimeter. 8.3 centimeter. Okay. Let us do one more. Number 10th one. Number 10th. A polygon can have minimum dash sites. A polygon can have minimum dash sites. Options are three, uh, it will start from two, not three. Options are 2, then 3, then 4, or is it none of these? We have to say that a polygon is start is having minimum how many sides? Polygon it is has more than 3 or more than 3. That means the minimum is 3. So the tick mark will be in number B3. Okay, so these are some uh, MCQs we have done from composite maths. But this is my request to everyone. You practice the composite maths as well as math magic both for your assessment. Okay, PT2 assessment. So goodbye all of you and best of luck for, the, for your PT2 assessment. Bye all of you.